Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. All right. If you can hear me, we start our lecture now. Well, in last class, we have learned what for thing we finished somewhere. Maybe here. Here, right? Here, we can finish here. This problem, last class we finished there. And if you have any question on that, pro yesterday we did the example on problem. If you have any question. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, what me? Yes, now tell me. We did the example 2.2. We did yesterday. We finished example example 2.12 and finished, right? Now, if you have, if you have, don't have any question, then we are going to start. The what is your question? Please don't write in Arabic here. Write in English so that we can understand, right? Sorry, what can I do? You check your mic, you check your headphone, something. All right. My voice is not clear. Your voice is not clear. Now it's clear. Clear, clear. What can I do? Can you hear me now? Hello. Yes. Okay. Hussain Ali say you can hearing. Abdul Malik say hearing. Okay. You check please your system. I don't know what is problem. You some students are saying there is no problem. So well, we we'll start new chapter today. If you if you don't have any problem with the example we have done before, we have done this example. We have completed this example before, right? We have completed this example before. Now we are going to hear this one. So now the two new topics, force vector directed to along a line. Here what we learned before, we learned a before how, find, how to find the length and the direction of a, a line or something. Now if a force force work on a, if a force, that was, suppose this is our, yeah, this is our band, okay? This is the rubber band. Yesterday we have done an example. Now if some force is applied there in that side, then what will happen? How to calculate? How to calculate is there? force vector along a line suppose we have suppose we have here we have here uh, some some cable right some cable so there is a force working on this cable on this cable force is working okay force is working on this cable now now what is the how to calculate this force force if acting on a chain can be presented as a cartesian vector so xyz and form a position vector r and then we can write down this force vector like suppose suppose some force is working here in this force okay then how to find it the vector we can find force vector we can find equal to f is f into u f into u f f is the is the force in the cartesian form and f into and u is we already learned before u is the unit vector r into r divided by absolute of r <coughs> so this is here f equal to equal to f vector equal to scalar f into 
into unit vector and unit vector equal to this unit vector equal to vector r divided by absolute r value very simple now we are going to do a start example right any, any question you have here any question you have here is very simple okay okay let's do a example here let's do a example we will we'll do an example here no question we will do example a man 2.13 the example is here a man a man what is the the man pulls on the cord cord here is the cord here is the cord this is the cord or cable what you say pulling 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 cord with a force 350 newton 300 350 and 350 that means he is pulling a force this guy this person is pulling a force here f equal to 350 newton right and represent this force acting on the support a a as a cartesian vector and a cartesian vector and determine its direction so what they ask is magnitude and direction they, they ask okay they ask the magnitude and direction. now now what we have learned here what so far we have learned there? What is the next one? We learned the a f equal to vector. We learned vector f equal to vector f equal to force into unit vector. And unit vector equal to f equal to vector r, vector r divided by absolute value r. Now, now to calculate r, to calculate r, if you want to calculate r, you have to calculate that we need to know what we need to know we need to know to calculate r we need to know coordinate 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 of coordinate of a b a and b so tell me what is the coordinate of, of a tell me first please start telling tell me what is the coordinate of a Point A. Zero zero seven point five. Any other answer? Come on, Ashraf saying then zero 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 seven point five. I want at least one more answer. Tell me please. Hussain Ali is saying okay, yes. Answer is correct. Why? So this is our x, this is x axis, this is x axis, this is y axis. And and the point is exactly on the on the y and z plan. This is the y and z plan. Okay. So here x value is zero, correct? Here y value y, it didn't go any side, so y value is zero and and the this the z value is seven point five. So this is also correct. Now tell me please the value coordinate of B. I will answer you. Musa, Musa Muhammad will answer you. So for coordinate B, someone answer me 3, 3 minus 2, 0. Okay, I want one more answer. One more answer. 3 minus 3, someone, 3 minus 2, what do you say? 1.5. Someone said 1.5. Let's, let's check what is happening. Let's check. So 3. Okay, there is someone saying is two, someone someone is saying it is 1.5. Let's check what which one is correct. Which one is correct? We will check and we'll correct, right? Let's check which one is correct. See the our where is our B, right? Where is our where is our point B? Our point B, where is the point B? Point B, so X is 3, correct, X is 3. It is mine opposite to the Y axis, positive axis, so minus 2. Now, what is the height, height from, height is, look, this is 1.5 parallel to here. So 1.5, the correct answer is, Correct answer is 
correct answer is z value is 1.5 okay clear everyone clear here now you calculate r value now what we should calculate r a or r or r we should calculate r a or i don't know which one we have to calculate r a or sorry just wait for a minute We should calculate. We should calculate R A or or R B A. Which one we should calculate? This is the question. Someone asked the question. Who asked the question? The Musa Muhammad Muhammad Isa. Doctor, how can I know whether it is B or C? Right? Someone said B A. Yes. Yes. Now look. What is the question? Question is it, is, it is written there, it is written there, 4C is working. Now read the question carefully, read the question, read the question carefully. What is saying there? The man, the man puts on the cord, cord like this, okay. Represent this force acting on the support, acting on support A, acting on support A. So read this sentence very carefully read the question very carefully always the support acting on a so force working on a now they don't they didn't ask force on b so asking force on a so if it is a that means in this direction in this direction in this direction okay see the picture and my my green light in that in this so that means a a to b a to b a to b so this is they are asking this question a to b not b to a so read the question and from question you will be clear right it's a pool yes correct that's why we have to calculate r a to b now calculate r a to b now calculate r calculate r a to b Now calculate R A to B. Tell me answer. Please tell me answer. R A to B and tell me answer. 3 I minus 2 S J. 3 I. So 3, 3 I minus 2 S J plus or minus 6 K. Okay. Who answer? Abdul. Abdul Lomar answer. Kamal Ash answer. Okay. So I assume this is this is actually correct answer. Right. So you calculate R vector R, you calculate vector R. Now you calculate the R absolute value of R. What is the absolute value? Absolute value or R is easy. 3 square plus minus 2 square plus minus 6 square equal to 7. 7 meter, yes. 7 meter. Always write down the meter, meter unit. If you don't write the unit, so you are going to lose some mark. Here. So you write down, you wrote what you wrote. Okay, you wrote the R, you got the value of R. Now, if you write down R, so we got the vector. Now, what is the unit vector we got already? Unit vector R A B. R A B unit vector equal to equal to we already know what we know. R A B absolute value of R A B. Okay, equal to now, equal to, you can write down I plus J plus K. So 7, here is 7, and here is 7. So here is 3, here is minus 2, here is 6. So, minus 2 and 6 so this is the unit vector a and b a and b right so what was our question there what was our question question they asked us to find the 
find the force for the find the find the force for the uh, f a f f uh, for the force f they ask us find the force for the f they ask for the person find the cartesian vector and we know the formula this f into unit vector so here is unit vector a b f is a b and this is also a b so f a b is how much is given 350 so i write down 350 into into how much into given into given here we this is the unit vector we just write down the unit vector 3 by 7 i minus twice by 7 j plus sorry not plus this will be actually minus anyway anyhow this will be minus minus 6 by 7 k all right now you calculate now calculate please calculate please what is the and this is unit is force unit is n newton always don't do mistake because 300 force this is in newton it is given in newton so you get the new one now someone answer who answer me who answer come on ashraf answer that he answered that 150i 150i minus 100j minus 100j minus 300k all right yes minus 300 Okay, so, so we got the, we got the first answer is done. This answer, so this answer is done. This answer, we got the answer, right? So what is the question? Yes, uh, uh, 150i minus 100j minus 300k. So answer is correct. Answer is correct, right? Answer is correct. Now the question is direction. So direction is very easy. Direction is very easy. How to find the direction? Direction I write down here. I am doing I am doing here the not perfectly. In your paper, you write down clearly, right? You write down clearly. So alpha, we know alpha equal to what we know? Cos alpha equal to cos inverse. Cos inverse what? Tell me. Cos inverse. This is actually alpha. This is actually alpha. So this is actually 3 by 7. Cos inverse. 3 by 7. Calculate and tell me, please. What is the angle? Cos alpha equal to? How much? 66.6. Now, similarly, yes, correct. Correct, correct. Similarly, beta equal to? We take it to cos inverse, cos inverse, this one, cos inverse, this one, minus 2 by 7, minus 2 divided by 7. Tell me, what is the result? Hundred zero seven. Yes, hundred zero seven. Answer is correct. Hundred zero seven. Should not we take the direction of the force, not the R? What is the question? Should not we take the, we shouldn't take the direction of the force? Yeah, R, same thing, R, same thing. We are taking from R, same, R is here. Where is R? Uh, no, not from R, from unit vector, from unit vector, unit vector. I write down the new page, okay, just a moment. I write a new page. Not the force, so you are going to the going uh, be confused. So I I write write I wrote, I wrote I, I write again. So our unit vector is unit vector is unit vector is what is our unit vector? Three by seven i minus minus actually not minus. It should be like it has to be like like this way. Three by seven i two minus two by seven j plus minus 6 by 7 k right so this is our unit vector now cos alpha cos alpha equal to alpha equal to cos inverse cos inverse 3 by 7 beta equal to cos
cos inverse beta equal to cos inverse minus 2 by 7 like this this one so this one is here and this one is here and gamma equal to gamma equal to cos inverse minus 6 by 7 Okay, this one. Now clear? Now clear? So this is 64.6, this is 107, and this is someone say 149. Okay, so these are the direction. All right? Yes. So any question? You have any question? We have finished so far here. We have finished. Any question you have? Tell me, please. Have any question? Just to wait, me wait a minute. Just please wait for a moment. Right. So what is that? Sure. Clear, right? So now Okay, now we do all right. We start our another problem and a new topic. So any student has any, any question about this problem? This this example. Anyone has anyone has any question? There is no question, so we, we start now. New topic. New topic is dot product. Dot product. What is dot product? So in we will learn one is dot product, another is cross product. Cross product, dot product, and cross products. From now for for what for the for this time we will learn we will learn dot product. Uh, yes, dot product. And what are the dot, dot product? Yeah. Dot product of vector A and B, suppose vector A and vector A and vector B is written like this, A dot B, A dot B. In books, you will find it is written in bold letter, bold. But when you write in the hand, so you write like this, right? Uh, A dot B, read A dot B. So A dot B, what is A dot B? A dot B equal to actually, magnitude a and b and cos theta that's it it's simple thing 
define the magnitude of a and b and the angle between angle between a b so suppose one we have one vector is working a this direction another vector is this direction and the angle them is being theta then then vector a dot b equal to a b into cos theta is the final is a is very simple thing and remember theta value will has will always have to be between zero and theta value has to be greater equal to zero degree equal zero degree or zero greater equal to zero or greater equal to zero theta will be zero or less equal 180 degree 180 degree then this is the formula right so refer to the scalar product vector as a result of the scalar okay <coughs> so vector product is this product now law of the law of the operation what is the rules and regulation So here, what how to learn? So, what is the in dot product? In dot product, dot product vector a dot b is same to b dot a. Same, same, no problem. Same, okay, no problem, okay. A dot b is same to b dot a. Or if write vector c vector d equal to same vector d dot vector c no problem same it's the same no meaning see order the order is no the order of the sequence has no problem so it's called cumulative law or if you multiply by the a dot b with something vector a dot b like 5 5 some point 5 so it is same it is same 5 vector a into b or a vector into into 5b is same meaning or a dot vector b equal to 5 so all the same meaning okay distribution law like vector a a plus bd equal to vector a b you can write down simple a into b plus plus a into d or we can write down b into a plus d into a same thing so this is the vector uh, dot product properties okay now now <clears throat> for you have to remember you have to remember one thing you have to remember one thing this is the x y z this is the x this is the y and this is the z now x in x axis we show by i in j we show in y is j and x axis k now if we multiply if you multiply i and i it will be one i into j equal to zero i into k equal to zero right remember with the same direction same direction multiplication will be result one and other thing will be zero similarly j j into i equal to zero j into j equal to one j into k equal to zero similarly k into i equal to zero k into j equal to 0 and k into k equal to 1 always remember so this is the very important properties for dot product for dot product okay then dot product if it is dot product so dot product to vector a b we can write down a x plus a b a x into b x a y b y a z a z and the b z right application where where is the application of the dot product application is the angle formed between the two vector or intersect line intersecting the line now we learn what we learn there we learn vector we learn a dot a vector a b equal to a b cos theta cos theta now if you want to calculate theta so we can calculate cos inverse a vector a by vector a dot b divided by vector a b this is the formula. The same thing is written here. Same thing written 
here and always remember theta has to be greater, greater than equal 0 degree and less equal 180 degree. The component of vector parallel and the perpendicular to a line we can calculate like this. Okay, like this is a vector. Remember, just example, this is a vector. This is a vector A. This is a vector A. Now, if you want to calculate the calculate the angle is theta. Now, if you if you want to calculate the, this angle, this this vector A A small A equal to equal to equal to either A cos theta A cos theta U A or or just vector A into unit vector A vector A unit vector A. This is the parallel to the parallel to the axis parallel to the axis this formula now if you want to find the perpendicular to the axis this is the right written like this way a perpendicular a perpendicular right so this is the another formula we have we will learn it later on later later not now okay so remember this is important thing if you have vector here if you have vector if you have vector here a vector with angle theta so component of vector in this direction is equal to unit vector in this direction suppose this is the axis name is a a unit vector in this director and and vector name is a in this direction vector is very simple vector a this vector into ua all right this is the formula component vector if you don't understand this is very important that's why i am repeating again i repeat again this is very important this is very important so i i, I repeat it for you because it is important yes again yes i repeat it for you yes i can please yes suppose some vector suppose we have some vector okay some vector is working in this direction a I give it a vector a now I want to find and I give you the some name of axis suppose this is the axis axis name is suppose x x the axis is x now what I want to find I want to find component component of vector vector a along along x axis x axis this is i want can you write the my can you do you understand my handwriting do you understand my handwriting yes so component i'm writing again c o m compo n e compo n e n t so component of a along the x axis component of a this vector along the x axis that is what i have to know so what is name this vector name is now a x a x a x what is a x a x is the component of component of the vector a along the x axis equal to very simple vector a vector a into u x u u u x u x this is the formula that's it okay a vector we have here and we want to find the we want to find the vector uh, along x axis so just vector into unit vector of x you will get this this is the this is the this is the uh, whatever written here now if you want to find the perpendicular 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 to this line perpendicular to x now if you want to find the component component perpendicular perpendicular cooler to x axis then then what is then what then what then how to find it then tell me how to find it right if you want to find the that formula then direction is direction is then its name is we can write down its name perpendicular is a perpendicular vector a perpendicular okay a a perpendicular and remember this is also vector i didn't write so a perpendicular a perpendicular vector 
perpendicular right on like this way equal to a perpendicular vector equal to what a perpendicular vector equal to vector a vector a minus this vector a x minus a x clear or not clear you must have to write in your paper this is the very important note with this these are the very important note very important very important okay you write down you will not find this is any book any book anywhere this is i am teaching you from my experience okay i write down for you again i write down for you again because this is very important very important so a vector is in this direction now we want to find a vector along i give you another name right x y z what x axis along the x axis now x axis a vector a x component now we want to find the the vector component working in this direction its name is ax now how to find ax ax equal to ax equal to vector a into unit vector in x direction okay now another another vector we have in this direction it is vector perpendicular vector this is vector this is also vector this is perpendicular vector how to find the perpendicular vector perpendicular to a perpendicular to a is equal to simple vector a this vector minus vector ax all right clear now yes teacher you you ex unit vector we find it from the last uh, law yes yes and unit vector is from you have to find how you find we will do an example we will do example so don't worry about it we will do right now one example all right but you tell me you understand this thing this one this one and this one you confirm me do you understand this and this tell me all right if you understand then we can go now before i go i give you name call i ask you name okay i ask you name like before you tell me your name right before you you see that you see carefully the screen you see the screen and you see the screen and you double check that you are absent or not absent okay you will check absent or not absent all right i put everyone absent first i put everyone you have sent then i will ask your name and you respond respond me respond give the reply to my name call and then i will uncheck then it will be it will consider as a present you have a online quiz next week but i maybe i have told you it will be it, because next week is the holiday it will be week after all right some student asked me email or something i uh, i give you answer now here your 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 uh, your 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 uh, exam will be next week uh, week after all right all right now tell me name mohammed habis mohammed habis you are here yes yes sir you are here fine then abdul aziz mazen Okay, thank you. Then, Kamil Hussain. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Muhammad Abdul Aziz Ibn Hussain Zafar. Muhammad Abdul Aziz. So don't do delay. I otherwise I put absent. I don't have much time. Muhammad Ahmad Ibn Abdul Rahman. Muhammad Yusuf. Muhammad Sami bin Ibrahim Muhammad Sami Muhammad Muhammad Sami another Muhammad Sami Muhammad Sulaiman Muhammad Abdullah ibn Ibrahim Hamid You are here or not Absent Ahmad Tahir Ahmad Tahir bin Ahmad Yes i ask you name be quick abdullah muhammad bin abdullah mana or mani i don't know abdullah muhammad absent okay abdul malik khaled 
Saleh bin Munir. Saleh bin Munir or Saleh bin. Okay. Then Umar Abdul Aziz ibn Salim. Ali Abdul Munayr. Muhammad Ali bin Ahmad. Isa Abdullah ibn Isa. Yahya Abdullah ibn Ali. Muhammad Sami bin Ahmad. Muhanna Walid. Yes, Doctor, I am here. Okay, fine. Talal Jamal. Talal Jamal. Okay. Saud Usama bin Ibrahim. <coughs> Hussain. Hussain Ali bin Hussain Alubi. Yes. Dakallah. Ya Hadikumullah is the one of them. Yes. Faris. Faris Muhammad. Abdul Hadi. Yes, present. Yes. Abdulillah. Abdullah, okay, present. Okay. Uh, Ali Jawad, Ibn Hadi. Hussain Abdullah. Ahmad Ibad. Abdullah Saud. Abdullah Saud Ibn Abdurrahman. Abdullah Saud Ibn Abdurrahman. Absent. Okay. Ahmad Dia Ibn Jawad. Muhammad Saleh. Muhammad Saleh. Absent. Okay. Doctor, <coughs> Muhammad Salah is here, but uh, his uh, like internet problem. Hussain yes, Jawad. Muhammad, uh, like I mean number four. Just a moment. Don't make me confused. Don't make me confused. You are written. You are written thirty two. Ahmad uh, Hussain Jawad. Where is Hussain Jawad? This one. Thirty three, right? Thirty three. Thirty two. You are saying he's there, right? Yes, doctor. He's there, but. Uh... His internet is a problem. There is a problem. Okay, okay, I put there. Okay, number four. Someone said number four. Number four is Muhammad Abdul Aziz. Okay, fine. I give you. Now number thirty-three. Who's on Java? Thirty-three. Ahmad Abdul Rahman Ibn Abdullah. Yes, yes Abdul Rahman. Faris Fadl bin Muhammad. Abdullah Saleh Ibn Abdullah. Abdullah Saleh. Okay. Saud or Said, I don't know. Saud Muhammad bin Saud. Abdullah Imran bin. Yes, the Quran here. Abdullah Imran, yes. Okay, Abdul, Ab, Abdul Munaim. Abdul Rahman. Abdullah Saud bin Abdul Rahman. Umur. Umur. Umur Wahid. Umur bin. Yes, Sunni. yes. What is your name? Tell me. Omar Wahir. Omar Wahir. Okay. Omar Wahir ibn Nasir Al Khalidi. Omar Wahir. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, Muhammad Shabir ibn Ali. Shamsan Saleh. Omar Ahmad bin Omar. Uh, Omar Ahmad. Here. Omar Ahmad here or not? Number. Okay, absent. Jamal, Kamal Ashraf, you are here. I saw you here. Umur Usama, Umur Usama, Umur Usama absent. Abdullah, Abdullah, tell me Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah. Musa Muhammad Isa Badaya, Abdul Rahman. Abdullah Said ibn Aid, Abdullah Said. Now I have the, some some absent student. I am asking again. Number nine, Muhammad Abdullah ibn Ibrahim. You are here. Muhammad Abdullah ibn Ibrahim. Okay, I keep you absent. Abdul Rahman Muhammad bin Abdullah. Number eleven. Abdullah Muhammad, so absent. 
Abdul Rahman Saadun. Abdul Rahman Saadun. You are here. Number thirty. Abdul Rahman Saadun. So absent. Umar Ahmed bin Omar. Forty-four. Umar Ahmed bin Omar. Forty-four. Absent. Forty-seven. Umar Usama Kamal. Umar Usama Kamal. So absent, right? So I cannot wait any any more. I just give you absent and confirm. All right, it's done. Now we have four minute time. You have any question? We will start this. Problem. This is the last problem I think of this chapter. We will finish next next class. But uh, you have any question so far? Okay, if you don't have question, we no. I can just start the problem and maybe we cannot finish today. But we'll I just introduce the problem. Next class we will do it. Okay. The frame is subject to a horizontal force. The frame, the this is the frame. What is frame? Frame means this is called frame. The all together the triangle shaped frame. Okay, the 3D 3D frame. This is the frame. Okay. Now in this frame, subject to horizontal force 300, 300, horizontal. It is horizontal. 300. Now you do know? Do you know why they put here J? Why? What does it mean? Someone tell me. So Rufel, it is on Y axis. Sorry? So Rufel, that it is in Y axis. Yes, it is one X, Y axis, along the Y axis. The force along the Y axis. If I write down F equal to 300, it is, tell me, it is vector rate scalar. I just write down F, F equal to 300. It is vector or scalar? It is a scalar. It is a scalar. Yes. Whenever I put J, I put J and it become vector. It become vector. J Newton. So J Newton. Okay. So the force is working along the along the y axis or horizontal force. Okay. Determine the component of this force force parallel and parallel and perpendicular to member A B. What is the member A B? This is the member A B. This is the member A B. The I, write, I draw in the green color. This is the member AB. All right. Now, member AB, member AB, now parallel and perpendicular to AB. Parallel means this is the AB, so they were they are asking along this 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 line a force. So if if they are asking if AB vector equal to what and perpendicular to member perpendicular means now perpendicular to this perpendicular is this so if a b this is the perpendicular so this this thing they ask they want from us this this thing they want from us okay so we just discussed the problem today next class so what they what they ask perpendicular to a b so this is the question so this this force this is they are asking all right this perpendicular means this is parallel to this this is parallel to this this perpendicular so so this become a triangle this become a triangle anyway so our question is these two what is f a b what is f a b and what is if a b perpendicular this is two thing this two thing they ask us you clear about the question so next class we will do we will do next class the how to solve it okay so if you ha don't have any questions now so i can stop i we can leave you can leave now and we can leave because time is finished but it's still i'm open for Okay, okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we, we, we finish here.